Good evening, everybody. Uh, Got to move a light here. It's glowing in the lenses of my glasses. Oh, Thanksgiving Day food was great, thanks to Christy. But uh, my football team doesn't look like playoff quality. <laughs> so if they do squeak in again this year, I doubt very much they'll advance past the first game. I'm not prophesying, though. <laughs> Cold coffee. Two of the first seven letters of Paul. Because I am the Pauline stewardship dispensational teacher. The topic or the subject today is the day of the Lord. Are you ready for the coming? That's my question. Are you of that day, the coming of the Lord? Are you a saint son of light? Uh, are you ready for the coming? The day with a capital D. There are four the days here, all with small d, and you need to capitalize them. In the fifth chapter of First Thessalonians, that's where we're going. If you follow along with me in your favorite Bible, uh, First Thessalonians chapter five goes with Second Thessalonians chapter two. And in case we don't get there, you've got the coming, the day, capitalize it in two, the day, capitalize it in a, in italicized letters. Uh, uh, the man of sin, he, it's not an organization, it's a person, it's a man, all right? Uh, his coming, the brightness of his coming, speaking of the Lord, the bright and morning star in Revelation, down in verse 8, his coming. And then verse uh, 10, verse 12, and verse 13, truth, truth, truth three times, major doctrine, all right, and then 14, two of my first three numbers, wherein he ha he called you by the gospel, the mystery, to, to the o obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus, always give the name Jesus, the title Lord, Lord Jesus, Christ anointing seal born, Christ anointing seal born. Nicodemus, you must be born of the Spirit to see or to enter. So it's about being born, about being sealed by that birth of the Spirit. And Christ is the anointing seal born. Okay. Further on down, good hope. Do you know your hope? And then at the end of 16, we have grace. And I added mercy, peace, and joy. And the other three is faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of those three is love. 17, two of my numbers, 17471. Comfort your heart, minds, and establish you in every good word and doing. The number one good doing is speaking the truth that is in 10, 12, and 13. Truth, truth, truth. It's all about truth. Are you ready? Are you of that day, the coming of the Lord? Are you a saint, son? Are you born of the Spirit? All right, now I'm going to read in, stay in the word, Bernie. That's what the, script, that's what the Holy Spirit told me, and I'm being obedient. I'm the anointed teacher, B period, UG, bear on YouTube. My teachings are not out there. They're keeping a lid on it, but they're going to bust forth big time here when God is ready. The unknown teacher will come forth. First Thessalonians fifth chapter, the zero one verse, first verse, zero one alpha down to ten, and inside the zeros is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, the author and the finisher, the first and the last. But the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write to you, for yourselves know. I'm reading. King James 1611, completely, perfectly, completely, fully, okay? 
When you come to the word perfect, I don't care if it's got a L-Y on the end of it or not, you must put one of these three words, mature, fullness, or completeness in place of that word perfect. Nothing perfect here on earth. No perfect human beings. There was only one perfect human being, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is, was, and still is God. Spirit word was in him. The Father was in him. He, Christ is God. The anointing is God. The Spirit is God. All right. Verse 2. For yourselves know fully or completely that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, they shall say. Unbelieving world, humanity shall say. Peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. A pregnant woman knows she's pregnant and gets bigger in the last three months. Her water's not broke yet, but she knows she's very, very pregnant. So there's a situation that anybody and everybody can see. All right? That's why the pregnant woman is a parallel here as to the situation. Verse 4. Oh, they shall not escape at the end of 3. Verse 4. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. Remember, light be, and he divided the light from the darkness. The light was good, and he divided the light from the darkness. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day. My question is, are you of that day, the coming of the Lord? Are you ready for it? We're in the last hour, and that's days, months, or years in God's time clock. But we are there. Okay, in the last hour. Verse 4 again, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. And I've whited out children. God's not looking for children. He's looking for saint sons mature and responsible, grown up, accurately handling the word of God, not babies or children on the milk, the sincere milk. Verse 5, ye are saint sons of light be. Way back in Genesis, light be, the first day of the first event. And sun saints, I turned it around, first time saint sons, second time sun saints of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Verse 6, therefore let us not sleep in our minds. You got to lay down and sleep as far as energizing your human body. But this is talking about in your spirit soul or in your heart mind. Don't sleep. Okay, this is spiritual. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that are drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober. Be uh, Light be of the light day in the first event, the first day, which is glory light. Moonlight, sunlight was not created till the fourth day. We're talking about the day, the glory light here of God, the truth of God. Verse 8 again, but let us who are of the day be sober, put on the breastplate of faith in, question mark. I added the in and the question mark. Breastplate of faith in and love truth. Do you love the truth? And you can't have the agape love of God without the truth of God. I know you don't like that one, but that's the truth. <laughs> And for an helmet, the hope of salvation, Shua. That's why you need to know the difference between name and titles. And you know have to know how to spell the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, Adonai, Yahshua in Hebrew. Because Shua means salvation, redeemer, deliverer, reconciler, Shua. So it's important that you know how to spell Jesus in Hebrew. Yahoshua or Yahshua, Shua meaning salvation. Okay, but to obtain salvation, Shua, by our Lord Jesus or Adonai Yahshua, Lord Yahshua, 
Christ anointing seal born, okay, who died for us. Whether we awake or sleep, we should live together with him. The Gospel of John 17, 24. Father, those that you have given me, me might be with me where I am in heavenly places, third heaven, glory, immortality, dwelling in the light, eternal life, might be with me where I am and behold my glory. The Gospel of John 17, 24. Back to the original question. Are you of that day, the coming of the Lord? Are you ready for the coming, for the coming of the Lord? With the brightness of his coming, the wrath of God shall be upon those who do not love truth. Do you love truth? Can you change and grow when you hear truth? Or are you stuck in the old like Israel went down with the ship with Moses instead of coming to the new, the Messiah, the Christ, the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, the new. And you must come to the new, the now, the today, the part two, the second is better with better promises, and Paul is the writer of it, chosen by the Lord. Paul, the number one writer, a good steward of the mysteries, revealing the mysteries. When you're born of the Spirit, there are no more secrets and mysteries in the Scripture. You can understand them all. And I am the anointed teacher to reveal the mysteries. I teach the difference between name and titles, I teach Christ, have you learned Christ? Is Christ dwelling in you? I teach good stewards of the mysteries, plural. 1 Corinthians 4, first two verses. And I teach the hope. And the hope is, which was mentioned here, either in the first or second account. I guess it was in the second account. I just read 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. And the parallel chapter in 2 Thessalonians is the second chapter. And we got to the glory and the good hope in verse 16. Do you know your hope? I teach the hope. Christ in you, the hope of glory, Colossians 1.27. I love you. That's the end of the Thanksgiving day, and I'm thankful for all that truth. I love you. The Lord loves you. And are you ready? For the great day, I have a song, Grandma said, there's a great day coming. He's going to have his day, child. There's a great day coming. I have to sing that song to you. It's called Grandma Said. Love you. Bye.